Hey, what's going on, bros and women? Um, hopefully this isn't too loud. You know, um, I got my headphones on, so um, if this is too loud, I highly recommend um you turn to turn down your volume. And I don't know if this is uh, what's it called. If this is upside down or not. Fortunately, I can't do nothing about that. Whether it's upside down or not, um, if you don't like it, too bad. Plus, you go off on that. Anyways. Criticism guy 2009 here. Like I said, I was going to be back in a 34 minute video, even though I don't have any views on it yet, but um, I'm going to get there, you know. There's actually another video I did last week, Tuesday. I think it was this week, Tuesday, which was yesterday, because today's Wednesday, um, June 6, 2012, you know. Another hot ass fucking day in Vegas, man. So, uh, <laughs> it's hot as fuck, that's all I can tell you right now. So, um, yeah, I just came out of work, so I'm looking fancy, you know, I'm draped up and dripped out, you know. You know, fresh to fucking death, whatever the fuck these stupid-ass teenagers call these days. But uh, other than that, um, I'm actually going to do an anime review. I was actually going to do this on my uh, Nintendo 2011 channel, and I got my transistor. <laughs> you might realize I fuck yourself with you. You don't like it. But, you can press up. All right, where was I? Oh, yeah. That's anime review I'm going to be doing for you guys. Um, it actually came out on Tsunami, Cartoon Network. Um, so I thought it was going to be fucking a, a prank joke or whatever, but it ended up being fucking legit. I'm still going to be doing that on my Nintendo Free 2011 channel, so if you haven't subscribed in there, put the link in the sidebar for my second channel. So um, that, um, what's it called? That channel's still in full effect. I've been on there for a while. I've been off the criticism of 2009 channel, aka CG09. So every pony, all my gentle colts, all my dronies and pegasus out there for my little ponies. I'll be doing a um, show review on that pretty soon, maybe this Saturday. I'll probably post it up on both of my channels, so uh, <laughs> be on the lookout for that, so I can say, because the um, only day, days I ever get off of work is Saturday and Sunday. And once in a while, it's Tuesday, but I was actually just once about the Lion C8 thing or whatever, because this other place I used to work at, it got way too expensive. It went from 20 to 40 to 60 fucking dollars. <laughs> There's no way I was going to pay all the way up to 100. I think that's what it is now. <laughs> there you go, fuck their stuff. This fucking goddamn middle finger right here, motherfucker. Right? Like that. That's what I think right there. But uh, other than that, <laughs> let me just say, ladies and gentlemen, that um, these two anime reviews I'm going to be doing, hopefully you like them, hopefully. Uh, and if you don't, you know, too bad. I'm gonna fucking do it. On my anime, hentai, even on um, manga fans out there, I mean, I love this shit. So if you guys watched the anime on Dolph Moon, which actually premiered about three going on four weeks ago, correct me if I'm wrong, but um, there's these two new animes that I checked out. Oh, shout out to Mellow Mike, even though I gave him a shout out already, you know. He told me about this, so what's up, man? You're chill through out there in um, the north of South Carolina you live at, I forgot. But let me know in the comment if you watch this, man. What's up, man? How you doing? So, uh, other than that, let's begin. So, if any of you guys have ever heard of, um, Areca 7, same people who made that shit, um, or even, uh, Death Note, it's kind of got that same feeling to it. Very kick-ass anime, if I do say so myself. Um, there's a new one that came out, it's called Dead Man Wonderland. And hopefully this shit isn't all, like, um, blocked or anything. But, uh, yeah, you know, um, Dead Man Wonderland. You know, very awesome ass, um, called very awesome ass anime you know it's about this kid i forgot his name i think it starts with a s a shijuki or something shijoki some of these japanese names are just so fucking hard to pronounce except this girl i know his future girlfriend or whatever her name's shiro she's one of those real cute ass sexy um hentai characters i'd fuck her brains out if i could i don't care if she's a fucking albino fuck i don't give a shit <laughs> i'll eat that pussy out like fucking fried rice baby <laughs> that's <Just> right right <laughs> But, uh, yeah, other than that, you know, uh, <laughs> it's about this dude. He ends up getting, um, it, it's, a, it's like in Japan. It's the year 2023 or 24. It's like 11, 12 years from now. So, like, Japan ends up getting a, <laughs> a huge, massive earthquake where it ends up sinking half of Japan and fucking um, into the ocean. And the other half, um, it's only, like, the other one-third of it is still, um, the fuck was that shit? Oh, well. <laughs> jumped a little bit, I pushed it out, fuck you, if you don't like that, fuck it, but uh, other than that, let's keep going, sorry, I'm having a little bit of saliva issue, but, because I don't have a drink, because I'm broke as shit right now, I had to wait till Friday to get paid, 
So, where was I? Oh yeah, um, one third of Japan gets sunk in the ocean after 10 years. And this dude, I think his name's Shinatsu or Shintu or something. No, very cool ass kid. Um, he kind of looks like Astro Boy kind of guy. I don't know what it is. It's fucking awkward, but it's cool as fuck. He ends up getting um convicted of a felony or a crime or something like that for killing all these like eight kids that were in his classroom, especially this one girl that he really loved that would have been his girlfriend, but he killed her. It's real sad. This dude in like a reg thing. Any of you guys ever play that old Nintendo GameCube game called um, Beautiful Joe? Kind of looks like that guy a little bit. Or an evil version of Captain America, you know? <laughs> kind of like that, you know? You get what I'm saying. You get the gist of what I'm saying. But, uh, no, anyways, besides that, you know, um, and he ends up getting, um, he ends up getting framed in blackmail for a crime he didn't commit, you know, and then they all say he's guilty. He sentenced him to death, but he doesn't really die. He goes to the secret, like, organization, jail, prison, federal, state place. It's called Dead Man Wonderland, which is the title of the anime. <laughs> You know, if you haven't figured it out yet, <laughs> if you care, <laughs> if anyone cares. But uh, yeah, you know, um, other than that, he ends up, uh, what's it fucking called? He gets sent to this evil organization place, it's a jail, and then uh, that's where he meets all these new friends and everything. I forgot the names of all the friends. There's two people that own, there's actually three people that own, there's the assistant manager and the real manager, and there's the CEO, corporate owner guy, which they never show his face, but I think they said he's an owl or something. I don't know. I looked it on Wikipedia. You know, check the link there. I'll post it on there, on this video, blog. So besides that, you know, um, after that he ends up getting a uh, fuck. What was it? He ends up getting this big ass chain thing. Like he has to eat these special candies. They're called cast cups, which is weird. And like, um, it's the only way you can survive. And then after that, <laughs> shit turns wild. You know, he starts running for his life, race for his life. I saw the whole, like, um, subtitle version, you know, sub, you know, where they speak Japanese and shit. Real fucking cool. <laughs> Kick ass, because, um, they cuss a lot more and shit, and they don't cut it off either. <laughs> Very awesome, you know, um, and he, he doesn't know that this girl, Shira, they used to be friends a really long time ago when they were little kids. He forgot all about her. <laughs> I think he had a crush on her a long time ago, too, but he forgot about that, because he was with the other girl. And then that dude on Shinto or something like that, he ends up, sorry about that, he ends up like, um, start falling in love with her and so he finds out like, she's the one I think that sent that red man, whatever, that inserted this like, big red crystal chain into his chest that makes him do all this powers with his blood and shit, you know, fucking awesome as hell, graphics are fucking amazingly well done, you know, um, cinematography is off the fucking wall. I mean, they got to make a movie out of this, seriously. <laughs> I would love to see a movie off of this anime. And uh, last but not least, you know, um, he's fighting for his life. There, there's the girl with the fucking hot ass on the assistant of Dead Man Wonderland. with nice big ass freaking HG pity. I'd fuck the shit out of that if I could. <laughs> I forgot her name, but um, I think her name's Admiral something or General something. I don't know. <laughs> All I know, she's fine as fucking hell. <laughs> And she uses her sword sometimes when, like, um, the guys get out of control and shit. Oh, and there's these group of douchebag motherfuckers, you know, um, <laughs> they don't give a fucking shit. They just beat the hell out of anyone. He beat Shinto up, too, and his friends that he makes the first day or second day there, first, second week. And he starts going through all these obstacle courses. Now, the obstacle courses, they are fucking insane off the fucking wall, baby. <laughs> they are hilarious as fuck. They're crazy as fuck. It's kind of like bleach a little bit, you know. They're fighting for their life, and like, they got guilty of these chains, these hacks, all these guns. Every single weapon in the world that you could think of that could kill you in a fucking second, get shot at, killed, you know, murdered. Basically, um, besides being castrated, you probably end up getting fucking decapitated, <laughs> or amputated, you know, with your legs, or your head. Gone, you know? <laughs> and they, all these people, they think it's fake, it's entertainment, and they say, oh, even if it's real, they were all cold-blooded criminals, and most of them got framed. So that just goes to show you that the justice system is completely fucking corrupt and uh, obliterated, you know? But other than that, definitely get this uh, anime 10 out of fucking 10. Very well done. I love how um, the storyline is, the plot, the scenery, you know, um, how the credits go to, you know, go to the people I love, the ending and the beginning song in Japanese. Very kick-ass. I highly recommend you watch this um, anime, Dead Man Wonderland.
or go online to watch the dub version, you know, <laughs> instead of waiting for the dub. But uh, other than that, there's that one, and then there's another one. Now this one right here is a little bit, a little weird, but might not make sense to some new people. But this is a very, very awesome, amazing video. It's actually called um, Cash or Sin. Now this one, Cash or Sin, is kind of about this guy, this robot. Actually, no, I think Casher. <laughs> he kind of looks like Proto Man off of Mega Man a little bit. But when he has his um helmet off, he looks like that one dude. If any of you guys ever played that like um show Golden Sun, <laughs> very kick ass thing, you know, um, a very kick ass game from Game Boy Advance a while back, you know, in the FC, and I think they got it for Nintendo DS a long time ago too when it first came out. If any of you guys are familiar with Golden Sun, um, there's this one dude uh, that I started watching the videos again. His name's um, Matt's LP Adventure. He only has like 600 subs. So I'd be nice if you could sub to him. Definitely deserves some more subscribers until he gets to at least a thousand. He does a lot of Golden Sun like um, videos and LPs. So definitely check his video games out. <laughs> you know, get, getting back to the anime though. This dude named Casher. Uh, he's real fucking awesome. And then they said like. It's kind of like the year 3000 or 4000 or some shit, so it's really far off in the distant future. <laughs> and I saw the police go by, it's kind of weird. <laughs> but uh, other than that, see there goes cops right there. Where are they? They're somewhere over there, I don't know. But uh, other than that, let's begin this one. My cash for sins, I can get installed on. <laughs> here on this weird ass fucking noise. But, uh, yeah, cash is like, uh, something that right now. But, other than that, he lives in Vegas, you know, that much. But, yeah, Cash is a very awesome video, you know, very cool, very creative, like, graphics are slick, you know, uh, the video is high class, high quality. Watch it in 1080p if you watch it on YouTube. Some real good shit, you know? Cash is is amazing. There's still a lot more you gotta learn about it, but other than that, it seems like a pretty awesome ass anime. Anyways, um, I give that one 9 out of 10. And, um, oh yeah, most of the storyline is based on these robots. Yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah. Fucking goddamn headphones, I swear to God. Jesus fucking Christ. But, you know, um, this Cash for Sins thing is really awesome because, um, about all these robots, I wanna kill them, I wanna destroy them, I wanna eat him up or something like that. I don't know what it is. You go figure it out yourself. Look on Wikipedia or Google it or Yahoo or whatever. That's really all I got to say right now. I will see you when I see you guys around. I'll be posting more stuff on YouTube. You ladies and gentlemen, have a good day. Um, I'll Skype you from my Facebook, Twitter, whatever. Oh, uh, yeah. I'll get more into cash for things and then another time. Because my memory is still a little fuzzy on it. The main thing is I know all these robots want to eat. <laughs> all right. So um, you guys have a good day. Have a good night. I saw that white trash bitch over there. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. <laughs> you guys have a good one. I'm going to go home pretty soon. So, um, guys have a good week. I know it's only Wednesday. <laughs> but, get through it. We're halfway there. And, um, I'm going to be doing a movie review maybe next week. Because I still got to save up money for, like, this laptop thing that I want. Yeah. <laughs> I know you saw it before on my Nintendo Free channel, but... That's all I got for now. Peace the fuck out. I'm out of here. And, uh, <laughs> oh, the person that was eating that dude's face in Miami, I hope he's one that was like a cannibal motherfucker that I heard about from Fatal Holy Soldier. Hopefully he's in fucking hell burning because they shot and killed him. So, uh, yeah, that's all I got to say right now. Oh, and I'm trying to make an Instagram account. So, um, look out for that, all right? Peace the fuck out. I'm gone. And Instagram, just in case people don't know, is, um, kind of like on um, Photoshop and all that shit, you know? And uh, what else? What else? Photo bucket and everything. Even Flick and Tumblr, too. All right? You guys have an amazing um, weekday. That was slow. Oh, and uh, all my Killing Floor fans out there, I just need one more fucking achievement until I get the fucking fruitcake <laughs> achievement. And I'm going to start doing more Hell on Earth um, mode shits, too. And the uh, amusement park slideshow event should be coming out pretty soon, all right? Take care. God bless you, you want. <laughs> And uh, take care of your pony, ladies and gentlemen, ponies and gents, cults. And I'll see you when I see you. Late. Keep the fuck out. I'm gone. CGO 9 out.